Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel Lady Like Me. This is Sherry. In today's video, I am going to share with you how I do my loose curls these days. I always don't have time to do this, but when I do, I use this super affordable Argan Heat Ceramic Curling Irons. I intended to do a product review about these products, but when I got it last year, it just didn't happen. Originally, I was just looking for a one and one half inch of curling iron, but when I went to Sally's, they have this amazing deal of buy one, get one free. Two curling irons for the price of one, I just couldn't say no. Anyways, if you want to see how I use this and know what I think about the product, then just please keep on watching. Use my cat but here I am opening the whole package as you can see it has the instructions which I don't use and um, this is what the curling iron looks like it has of course this is the on and off switch and it has actually 30 heat settings for the kind of hair that you have all of those informations are right here on the box. Example, your hair type is like mine. Normal, they recommend you do between um, 15 to 19. But for me, I usually go for 25 because sometimes I need the heat to make the curls last longer. Normally, whenever I curl my hair, I just use the 1 and 1 fourth inch because I want that loose curls. But for this video, I will use both for you guys. The curling iron also has argan oil inside, which is used for instant shine and smoothness. I think you're supposed to use this after you curl your hair, but I did the opposite. After brushing my hair on this video, you will see that I applied the oil anyway it was my first time so let's see how this oil works After watching this clip, I realized that I kind of put a little too much of the argan oil. Now I think my hair looks a little bit oily, so yeah, a little goes a long way. Um, and just like any other videos about curling hair, after you brush and detangle your hair, you have to section it before you start the curling process. And um, for this section, I will use the 1 and 1 fourth inch curling iron and I will curl all of my hair in one direction and that is away from my face. Just a heads up, this tool just takes some time to heat up. And the heat setting that I'm using for my hair is the 25, I believe. As I continue to curl my hair, I just want to let you know that I filmed two videos. First one, obviously you're watching it right now and I think I'm gonna call this one how I curl my hair these days with an affordable tool. I don't know, I'm, I'm not sure yet. But the second one, I am doing a product review about a mascara that I really, really, really love and that's no other than the Hair and Make Mascara. It's so perfect for Asian eyes. It won't budge. It's super waterproof. And yeah, after you finish watching this video, I will really appreciate if you can check it out. I will put the link right now on your screen and I will also include it in the description box.
the curls that I have right now is a little bit tight but it will loosen up as the time progresses. So here I am on my last section which is the um, front part of my hair. This section is so important since it will do the framing of my face. For this one, I will use the one and one half inch curling iron. I especially love this one when it comes to achieving that loose curls. This is what the final curls looks like. I love the affordability of the tools. I bought two curling irons for like less than $40. And yeah, I really saved a lot. The only thing that I will skip though is the oil. Due to the fact that my hair really holds curls way longer if I don't apply any product. So if you see me in my future videos with loose curls, I was using this brand and no, I don't see myself buying more curling irons or tools for the next few months. I am contented with this one. Comment down below on what type of curls you prefer to have. And that's about it. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you next time. Bye!